What's going on ladies and gentlemen? It's been a really long time since I've been able to post a video. I've had a lot going on in my life. I've switched jobs and working at a different place and right now I'm in Florida uh, training. And I've been down here for about two, uh, eh, almost a month. I still have another two weeks of training to do down here. So that's why I haven't made a video in a while. And let's get to the shave. Tonight's uh, soap is Henry and Victoria Cognac and Cuban Cigars. Really, really awesome scent. This is a vegan soap, I believe. Yeah, with shea butter and all that. Good soap. I'm gonna be using the bevel brush here. I like these uh, new bevel brushes. They're synthetic as opposed to the uh, badger hair. The badger hair used to fall out on these uh, bevel brushes, but uh, these new knots with the synthetic uh, hair in it, they hold the hair. They do lose a couple hairs here and there, but I do like this brush. And I got this brush because I forgot my uh, brush when I came on this trip. I forgot all. I, for, I brought everything except the brush, so I had to go out and buy this brush, and I'm pleasantly surprised with it and pleased with it. It's got a lot of backbone, good uh, dense brush, good flow through. Um, the only thing I don't like is that it is a little expensive. For a synthetic brush, it's like $30, so you can definitely get better quality brushes for at, at cheaper prices. So, But when you're in a pinch and you need to go out, you can go to Target and you can pick this brush up. It is a good brush. I have enjoyed it. Most likely, I am going to give it away. I have a guy that I met down here at the hotel that um, I'm going to give this brush to when I leave. So, go ahead and just paint up. I've got about maybe three days of growth on the face here. Oh man, this is a great scent. If you like tobaccos and uh, uh, whiskey type scents, you're really going to like this one. It has a good boozy note to it and a very nice mellow tobacco note to it. Scent strength on a 1 to 10 scale, I would put at mid range 5. And Henry and Victoria soaps are really good soaps. I really enjoy them. I didn't bring any aftershave along with me on the trip, so I'm just going to be spraying this cologne on my face. This one is uh, Club de Nui. Intense Man, which is uh, which smells like Creed Aventus, but at a much cheaper price. So how's everybody doing? Hope everybody is well. Everybody's enjoying their shades and enjoying life. The weather here in Florida has been beautiful. It's been consistently in the low 80s. Not, not a lot of rain. And I've been able to get out and enjoy myself and explore a little bit while I've been down here. It hasn't been all work. There's been a little bit of play too. So, you know, I'm really enjoying myself down here. So what's new out there? What's new in the community? I've checked out for a little while, haven't made a video, haven't really bought anything new. Any new and good soaps out there that you guys are using? Let me know in the comments below. The blade that I have in this razor right now is a Feather Professional. One of these. I've got about 25 uses on it. It is my favorite blade, the Feather Pros. I also like the Kai Pink, Titan, Captain, Milds, or whatever. I like those blades too. I 
I need to try some other blades. But for me, I've been sticking with these just because I like them. I've had no issues with them. Or with the Kai Miles. I'll have to get caught up on some uh, shade videos too. I haven't watched anybody's videos in quite a while either. So I started the job about um, I'm almost into a month. The work that I'm doing is similar to the work, was the same as the work that I previously did. I'm an x-ray technician. What I used to do was do stuff, I used to work with things like welds, castings, and inspect the quality of them. Now I'm working for a company and I'm doing, they manufacture their own parts, which are batteries, and I'm inspecting those. The way that they do it is all digital, and that's the part of the job that I have to learn. So I need a certain amount of hours before I could qualify to uh, shoot as a level two inspector and inspect. And I'm almost at that. I've almost got all my hours of training in. I needed a little, I needed over 200. But being able to come down and train in Florida is pretty, is pretty cool. The weather this time of year is pretty mild and consistent. Hasn't been a lot of rain. It's only rained in the last uh, few weeks since I've been down here twice. And I'm staying, if you guys know Florida, I'm staying uh, over by Madeira Beach, which is near St. Pete. final pass and that should do it here. I'm not going to be making videos as consistent as I used to, at least for right now, just until I get more comfortable and settled in. I fly back home on the 29th, I'm going to be working at a, at a, at a place based in, Pencil, in Pennsylvania, where I'm from. And I'm looking forward to getting up there and learning their system up there and meeting all the people that I'm going to get to work with. Oh. I might have got myself there. I might have came in a little too steep there. We'll see in just a second. I didn't feel it. It was a little deep there and I jumped a little bit because I knew if I put too much pressure on it, it would have laid in the open. But so far, I think, I think I'm good. Yep, I'm good. I got lucky there. Honestly, this is the first time I've used this Shavet in quite a while. So I'm a little out of, uh, out of practice. And that, I 
believe will do it. Yeah, lucky. Didn't get myself. I thought I did there for a second. Nice shave. All right. Let's spritz a little cologne on the face here. I have to get it in your eyes. Oh man, great scent. If you like Creed Aventus, or something that smells like Creed Aventus, you should check out our moth, Club in a Wee, 35 bucks, it smells really good. It's the closest thing. We'll put a little on the shirt here. It's, a, it's the closest thing to the real thing. But if you're somebody who likes the real thing, it's always best to go with the real thing, but it is expensive. It's like, I think $300 for a bottle of like a, I forget what size bottle, but it's an expensive cologne. But this is very, very nice if you like an Aventus type scent. Very, very nice, very close. There's a ton of YouTube videos about it and about this cologne. I'll leave them in the description below if you want to check out um, the videos regarding this cologne. Stuff I used in the shave, the bevel brush here, synthetic, Henriette Victoria, Cuban cigars and cognac, or cognac and Cuban cigars. Went with the Feather Artist Club here with a Feather Pro Blades and put some of this uh, Club de Nuit Intense Man on my face here. I'll leave links in the description. I'll leave links to videos for the cologne here if you're interested in that. I will also leave links for everything else that I've used in here in the description below. I'll catch you guys again sometime soon. Hopefully, um, I'm not sure when I'm gonna put out another video, but hopefully I'll be able to, once I get settled in, to start making more videos consistently. Sorry about the fan, I can't turn the fan off. So, hope you guys all have a good weekend, good week. I'll see you next time, whenever that is. Catch you later.